Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Yana Chanice, and if you're new here, continue to tune in, guys. Welcome to Vlogtober. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so, so. Y'all cannot tell y'all how much like excited I am about Vlogtober, y'all. Like, I have so many ideas for y'all this um month, and if you're not already tuned in, like, tune in now. Basically, y'all, I have a very special video for you guys today. I will be doing a um kind of spooky movie night halloween movie night type of thing i just i'm just so excited <laughs> look y'all look it literally says boo y'all like tell me that's not cute though tell me that's not cute though boo y'all and then even like the bottoms and then my socks like tell me it's not cute though and it's long sleeve too but i just got it up like it's a little long sleeve long sleeve but I just got it up right now because I'm currently washing my hair. Or either I was washing my hair. Now I'm just um letting the conditioner sit. But yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all that. So yeah. Let me go ahead and finish rinsing this out. Tying my hair up. And then I'm going to go set the snacks for y'all. So yeah, be right back guys. Okay guys, so I'm out now. I'm going to go ahead and I have this stuff right behind me. And then I have these little bowls and stuff over here. I have all these that I'm going to wash and then start organizing this kind of stuff and all that. So, yeah. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. So, I have this one. I have this one. This one. And this one. So, I'm going to just wash all this and then we're just going to see as we go. So I got all of them washed now. Now what I need to do is find something to dry and put them, y'all. Okay, y'all, so now I have them all dry and then I can start. I think I'm gonna start uh, washing the fruit and cutting it. So I got me a cutting, a cutting board. Rinse out the fruit. I have strawberries and grapes, cold water. guys and we're back so first we're going to start with doing the fruit platter since you know i want to be able to go ahead and cut up the everything that we need and then put it in the refrigerator so it can be you know cold by the time it's time for us to eat it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off with the grapes all i'm going to be doing is separating the purple grapes slash red grapes from the green grapes and basically it's a good thing to go through each of the grapes and actually see what's good and what's bad because you don't want to have any squished grapes in your platter and stuff like that you want all your grapes to be fresh and you know sweet and everything so basically that's what i'm be doing i'm just going to be separating it and then putting all the bad ones on the side and also guys i was tasting them too i'm not gonna lie and it was really really good so like if you're buying your grapes from walmart i highly recommend buying it from target because literally y'all the grapes are so 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 good but yeah guys i'm just gonna let y'all watch and then i'm gonna come back when i'm on the green I did speed it up a little and now I'm on the green grapes. I feel like the green grapes will take a little less time because you know I feel like the green grapes are way bigger than the actual red grapes. 
which which one do y'all like more too by the way because i don't know if i'm more into the green or am i more into the red i feel like each grape is on a different occasion i feel like i'm going for sweet i'm going to go for the red but if i want sour and sweet i'm going for the green all right guys and now we're done so now we're on to the strawberries which i'm really really excited about do y'all see how like cute the strawberries are i really feel like strawberries are like the i don't want to say the best fruit but i feel like the best looking fruit because i don't know strawberries make me really happy for some reason it just give aesthetic vibes i don't know but same thing with the strawberries all i'm gonna do is go through each little strawberry and try to see what's bad what's good i'm gonna throw the bad ones out and you know how it is for strawberries like you might have to cut around the bad parts to get to the good parts you feel me so yeah i'm just gonna go through these strawberries cut it up and then i'm gonna come back with y'all so yeah just let y'all watch okay guys so now i'm doing my strawberries and i'm just gonna show y'all all my fruits that's cut up now and then now i'm on to my favorite fruit which is watermelon which i don't know what's your favorite fruit because mine is watermelon but i feel like a lot of people will bash me because watermelon to me is the best fruit but i don't know that's just me though but i'm just gonna show y'all literally how i cut my watermelon it's not that hard it's just literally i washed the watermelon and it was just sliding everywhere y'all like oh my gosh it just would not stay in place but yeah i'm just gonna let y'all watch until i literally cut everything try cutting this watermelon with this butcher knife because that's literally making it way harder to cut the watermelon but y'all know me chef y'all know always think she know what she's doing but i guess okay guys and so now i'm just skipping it ahead to where i actually fold wrap my watermelon and like a tip y'all y'all have to always like literally wrap your watermelon in foil because if you don't like put something on top of it like all the water and like the stuff that makes it actually juicy is gonna drain out so yeah okay guys on to our next little snack i'm gonna be making a little snack bowl which i got these like cheese ball cheese puffs whatever it was i think it was the cheese balls but i got it from target as well at first i was gonna get like a big little like bucket of like cheese balls but like i feel like it really got like really hard really fast because you know once cheese balls hit the air it just turns really hard and i just, just like you know so i got the little 32 pack which it came in handy because like you know a lot of people don't eat like cheese balls back to back to back but like the little pouches you can just get a little pack and then if you want more you can get some more and then like you know the little one pack shouldn't be like too too much but Basically what I did was I just went through and actually, you know, did like a color pattern based off like what I start off with. So like if I start off with orange, the next couple of colors would be like purple. Or either like, you know, I start off with purple, the next would be orange. Like it just depends. But yeah, that's just basically what I did. because I'm actually finna go through and actually do like the, you know, the fruit bowl. Like putting it in each like little platter, little thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna take the grapes and strawberries out and also the watermelon. And then my next clip, I should be starting the platter. just you know putting the fruit inside the platter at first i was trying to do it all cute but then eventually i figured out that literally i have too many grapes and fruit so literally whatever i have left over i'm just going to save for later to eat on the side or whatever but 
look how much highlight they have left. At least I got all the greens out though. But at first I was going to spread the grapes throughout, but then I have so much fruit because I have the green grapes, the red grapes, the strawberries, and I also have watermelon. And the watermelon and the strawberries literally take up one side by itself. So yeah, this is just what it looks like. I'm just going to get y'all watching until I'm finished. video guys because literally this was the best part of it because for one i just feel like anything like spooky related is just like super duper fun to like put together so like this was my little snack tray it's nothing but cookies and you know like um brownies just a whole bunch of things on here i have like two types of oreos on here it's the orange cream feel but i think it still tastes the same it's just a like food color I know for sure I had like the spice, the pumpkin spice Oreos, and then I had sugar cookies, I had like Halloween, like shake cookies, like you see in the background, the ghost and stuff. I also had cupcakes, and like I think I had one thing that I can't think of, but literally this was like the fun is like part of the whole video. This was like really, really fun. For the popcorn, I didn't really have that much to like really do. It was just like regular like white cheddar popcorn and then it was the caramel cheddar mix. Yeah, when I say this popcorn was really, really good because my whole thing was for buying the popcorn is I didn't want to actually buy popcorn and then have to heat it up. I wanted to actually have it already ready for me. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to heat it up and then everybody not be ready to watch the movie. And then the popcorn really got cold. I don't know, but you know, I wanted to like this popcorn. And it turned out really, really good, especially when I mixed it because it was like white cheddar, regular cheddar, and caramel all mixed together. Out of both of these bags, I would probably would say the caramel, the cheddar caramel or caramel cheddar, whichever one, is the best because it would say it's really, really good. So yeah, 20 out of 10 for both, I definitely recommend. Pumpkin spice Oreos, 
cupcakes, just a whole bunch of stuff that y'all see. But it, it, this this is made like a harvest brownie. It has like pumpkins on it. It's just it's really really cute. I didn't know that this was like a brownie that you like heat up in the oven. I never knew that. It has like it says it's brownie top of milk chocolate, pumpkin marshmallows, brown crackers, sprinkles, and white chocolate drizzle. And all I gotta do is put this in the oven or the grill for like six minutes. So this is what it looks like. This is really really cute. I'm back so basically I just put the brownies inside of the oven and then I'm gonna just wait to like six to eight minutes and then we're gonna see and if not we're just gonna wait longer I don't know but yeah guys until the brownies out Bag. I know I look a little crazy because that's because I'm getting my hair done. So yeah. But if you enjoy, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave in the comments down below any ideas that y'all want to see in the future or right now for Blocktober. And yeah, y'all, until next video, I love y'all so much.